up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we catch predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 catches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions of 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals. She's outside? Yes. Should I just go around? Go behind her? She's outside, sure. Uh, yeah. Baby, tell tell Ashley to like text her like hold on, I'm on the way out. Or have Ashley text William I'm on the way out. Yeah, don't go too too fast. I don't like spook her. Literally just pull up next to her, pull up next to her. Like just right right behind her, yeah. Just right behind her. Nah, she's not she's gonna let it slide. How's it going? Hey, Rachel, we gotta talk about Emily, okay? okay? I know your baby's here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to make you go away from the car or anything. But if you don't mind, can we just go outside and we can be right here with the with the baby, okay? Alright, I'll just I'll come on the deck. Okay, for sure. Hold on. Hey William. Which one? Hold on. I'm sure. gonna break. He's on the phone. I'm gonna get it off the Sure. What's up? Hold on, I'm okay. You're on speaker now. Hold on. Hey, hey, what's up, William? Hey, man. Oh, my name is Gordon. Hey, we got to talk about Emily, okay? Um, you, you know, I understand something's going on here. We just want to have a conversation, but I think you should probably just head over and just we just want to talk about it, okay? Why? Is that? I've got to get to work. I understand, but obviously this is a lot bigger than that, okay? And you know, no, it's voluntary to be here, but I think with what said everything's recorded we should probably just talk about it, all right and i promise you like we'll keep eyes on the kids the whole time all right okay well if you don't mind uh yeah. sorry to meet you like this yeah um he's got all of the converse like he's got conversations and everything like he just pulled out mm -hmm. what and we just want to have a conversation. He okay. just wants to have a conversation. And I don't want him anything to get in between you and your kids at all. He doesn't want anything to get between me and the, like us and the kids. And, and I understand you're good parents. And, you know. Um, he, he, there's no way he's going to be able to, sorry. Okay. Uh, get here, like, right now. He's, um. Hey, what's up, William? What's up, dude? Listen, uh, so this person contacted me, okay? Mm-hmm. And... She's been, I don't know, she's all by herself, whatever like that. She wanted to come hang out for the weekend. Uh, she's been acting kind of weird on and off, you know, mm -hmm. about certain conversations. I've been deterring it a lot. Mm -hmm. But we are just getting ready to go swimming and give her, you know, some pizza and stuff. And, okay. You know, a day. Okay. Right. Hey, and, you, so, and, and William, that's why I'm just here to talk about it. Just make sure everything's straight because I understand you guys are very dedicated parents and we need more two-parent households, you know what I mean? She says her mom leaves her on the weekends all by herself and everything like that, on, or at the end of the that. month or whatever, so... Okay. That, that, that's what's that, you know, I was like, you know what, if you want to come hang out with us, you know, but she, 
it seems like somewhat of a troubled kid, man. So I, I was, you know, just kind of. She wait. You know, so how wait? So how how old is she? How, how old is she? I, I, that, that, no, I'm literally just curious. Like, how old is she? Who? Emily. Oh, I don't know. Ask Emily. Guys. <laughs> well, what did she? What did she tell you? Did she tell you guys an age, or what did she tell you guys? Well, her Facebook profile says she's 23. Okay, her. but what what age did she say? I don't think she ever actually gave me an age. I just know that okay. her mom leaves her home on the weekend. Okay. And, uh, um, me being a parent, I'm not even comfortable with leaving my own 11 year old at home on the weekend. Do you have an 11 year old? I have a 12 year old. I mean, but, okay. yeah. Okay. So were you hoping they'd be friends with each other? Or? Well, yeah. I mean, okay. that would I'm playing with my kids. And, you know, yeah. Give her something to do, man. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, were you guys thinking, like, is your 12 year old a son or a daughter? Or? Daughter. Okay. Were you, were you thinking, like, I, uh, this could be, like, someone her own age she has a friend with or something like that? Basically, bro. Okay. Okay. So, you, okay. So, so you, so you guys were aware she was 11 then, but you guys didn't have no ill intentions or anything? I wasn't aware she was old. Is she 11? Well, well, that's what she... I knew she was a young, a young, like a, a young teen, I guess you could say. Okay. Well, I mean, didn't she tell you 11, though, in the very beginning? I, I really don't remember. I was just talking on the phone, dude. Okay. Well, um, if you don't mind, uh, I'm just going to talk to Rachel for a little bit here, and I, I, I can assure you everything's fine with the kids and everything like that, all right? Okay. Hey, so, quick question, man. Sure. What's, who are you? I, I, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, my, name, my, name, my, name is, my name is Gordon. My name is Gordon. We're with a... We're just, we just kind of make sure everything online is, like, kosher between kids and adults, and... Um, you, you know, and and, um, and look, look. I, 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 I'm sorry, dude. I'm I'm tripping out because I'm like, like I know her paw paw and stuff is over there occasionally because she's talking about her paw paw and everything. So. Right, and and, and 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 basically, like, you know, I know you guys are good parents and aren't bad people, and that's why, like, I just want to talk about it. You know, I, obviously Rachel's in person. If you want to come over here whenever and talk about it, that'd be. Well, I mean, you guys are like an hour and stuff away from me, so. Okay, got it. So, all right, well, um. If you don't mind, uh, I'm just going to talk to Rachel here. I'd like to stay on the phone. I mean, you can if you want. I mean, yeah, that'd be all right. Okay. So, obviously, I mean, since y'all didn't have any ill will, I mean, yeah. okay. You, you guys are just stepping in for like a troubled kid in a way? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So... I mean, obviously, you know, she told William she was 11, and I'm sure William told you and all that stuff. Like, what what did you guys think when y'all were told that? Just curious. Well, I mean, what, babe? Nothing. I don't know Well, like, I mean, like, I'm, I'm just curious, like, what... I'm, I'm just curious, like, kind of what was going on. Like, what, what were y'all... Like, what did y'all think about that? Like, how did y'all want to step in? Like, that's what I'm just curious about. I just want to make sure everything's cool, you know? I, to strange people on the internet and that's and you know what it's better somebody that's a decent person than somebody else i I'm, i agree that's why we're just talking about right, it and then we found out that her dad had died like and stuff and we figured that she was looking at, like she was reaching out for like a father type figure mm -hmm. to kind of you know i mean kids do that and that's yeah that's kind of what we were okay well I have somebody with me for safety. I obviously know you're not a threat, but I don't think I'm a threat to you just because I'm a big guy. I'm not going <laughs> to hurt you at all. I, William's pretty tall, too, right? Okay. How tall are you, William? Tall, huh? Oh. Not that tall. Not that tall. I mean, he's taller than me, so. But yeah. But a lot of people are, so. Yeah. I got my, I got my friend Kevin. Um, he's in the car, but he's going to... Are we under arrest? Oh, no, but, you know, I, I think we should probably just talk about everything um, because that's probably the best option for you guys because everything is saved, every single thing, so. And that's all for safety, okay? That's, they're, not, they're not on you, they're on me, just so we can be sure that I didn't try to extort you or anything like that, okay? It's for your protection and the kids' protection, okay? Okay, well, I would prefer that my... Oh, yeah, no, 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 it's not. It's literally just, it's literally just me, okay? Because if I can just prove that I didn't hurt you or anything like that, that's what I care about, not you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay, I appreciate it. So, who, what, what office are you from? 
Oh no, no, no. We're we're just private citizens, but I think we're just we're just kind of concerned about online activities. But if if you don't mind, I mean, I just uh, want to kind of figure it out here, bro. Because the thing is, William, I want to make sure, of course, that Emily's on the right path, but I also want to make sure you guys are on the right path too. Because this was definitely, this is definitely something that both parties can learn from here, I think. So, um, do we need to cancel our, our full plans and stuff, or what's the deal? I mean, if you want to... She's got to get the work here. I say, if you want to take the kids to go swim in, that's... I mean, no, with Chloe well, having no, a I've, runny I've nose and stuff. Alright. Yeah, maybe do it like... I don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She woke up with a runny nose and coughing this morning, and he's just very unhappy. Okay. Well, let's, uh... What? Yeah, I, I'm supposed to be at work in a minute. Okay. Well, Rachel, that's that's probably not going to happen right now. So, um... All right. So, so basically... I do got to ask though, like, when did this kind of stuff all start for you guys? What do you mean? She contacted us about a week or so ago. No, I mean with, um, no, I mean like this whole online stuff, like looking for a third, that kind of stuff. Oh, well, that's, that has nothing to do with it. It's normal. No, that I understand. I'm just saying, like, when did that, because, you know, obviously y'all's paths crossed. Oh, well, oh, you're talking about, oh, uh, yeah. It's like with me and my wife, man, we're, we're probably good. Turn up a little bit. It's all the way up. <laughs> okay. Just, he mumbles sometimes. Yeah, I, mean, we, I mean, we've never, we had a third at one point in the life together, but somebody. Okay. All right, well. Pretty much what he said was we've been poly our, like our entire relationship, and we've been looking for a third mm -hmm. um, for a couple of years now. Right. Um, it, that's really about what. You know, that's what he was saying. But I mean, like, we didn't have any intention of, like, obviously, with her mm -hmm. doing that. Like, no. But you know what? It, it, it's just we're being straightforward here. I mean, this girl it has been suggestive of those things quite a bit, dude. And I kind of deterred her quite a bit. I'm trying to deter her on that. I'm like, listen, that's not what this is about. What like I, I really haven't read through anything everything. Like what kinda of, what kind of things was she kinda of suggestive about? Well she was she was asking I don't know, man. I just I feel like if it was anybody else, then she'd be in her go. The way she was suggesting things is if it would have been anybody else that wasn't as protective or um I, I guess that's the right word is protective. Um like if it was anybody else standing here, that that, that little she girl would have gotten, kidnapped. she would have gotten kidnapped, kidnapped and probably. Okay, so y'all were well aware this was a very young girl that needed something, some protection or something like that. Well, it's not really. I, I wouldn't say that that was my thought process as a protector. I was just giving her a place to hang out for a day, but um, her mom's out of town. I think you know. But, okay. Um, but she is a she's a trouble kid, <laughs> Right. Right. Okay, so, so I need you to call work. Yeah, I would definitely call him and let them. How, how long is this gonna take? Cause I'm kidding. I understand. I mean, William, I'm just gonna be honest, man. The, the longer the stalling is on the phone, the longer it's probably gonna take. I mean, I just, you know, I, I want to talk to people in person because I can barely hear on the phone, man. But I understand you guys, guys have crying kids in the back, and yeah, I don't want, I don't want that to happen either. But I'm sorry, I don't want that to happen either. Well, I'm just trying to figure out why this happened, if it'll happen again. That's all. And, and obviously, you know, I'm taking the courtesy to talk to you guys because <laughs> there are truly bad people, like you guys said. And I don't think you guys are that, but I think this at least at least warrants a talking to. Well, I mean, we're talking, so... All right, well, yeah, I mean, it, well, I mean, if you don't mind, if you could just call her work here. Uh, I have no idea. Scoop should be there, though.
Can you do that? The AC's on for them, right? Okay. Yeah, the AC was on. I just turned it up. Okay. Good, <laughs> good, good. Do they have like water and everything, or should we go get them some? Or um, she might want some water. Okay. Like he's got some milk. Okay. Do you want us to get him like a water bottle or something? If you have one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Here, give for that. Don't order any food. Just get actually get him some water. Okay, well, William, the, 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 lo the, longer, the longer the lingering on the phone happens, the longer it's probably going to take, dude. I mean, you should probably just call her work. I already took care of work. Yeah, work's taken care of. Okay. Well, Rachel, if you don't mind, can you just kind of hang it up? Um, I, no, I can't. Sorry. But, continue. Okay. So... So you said, well, so you know, I'm not normally chatting with a young lady, but me and my girl are polyg polygamy, polygamy, look it up if you need to, but we are looking for someone younger to get to know and potentially date in the future as they get older. Most girls go through lots of boyfriends and get their heart broken. We want to offer someone who might want to skip all that, something better. We are already stable and want to find someone who, when they turn 18, they might want to be ours forever. Anyways, it's kind of cool you approached me, so I figured I'd let you know why I responded, and I'm still interested in you and potentially getting to know you. Do you like girls too or just men? So what kind of was that thought process there? Are you asking me? Um, yeah, well, Rachel, you. Because, I mean, you're the, you're the one that texted this one, William. Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. Uh, do you want me to give it to them? No. I mean, getting to know somebody and having a relationship with them before 18 is two totally different things, you know? Okay. Like, we, like the, we wasn't an intention of having any kind of a relationship with the person before they're 18. It was just getting to know somebody. Okay. I mean, I did play along with her a little bit, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't touch her something, but I was trying to make it Right, so... I mean, the reality of it is... So I, I think I think you guys asked um, if we get along. You just put it on. A, you just put it right there, or something or whatever. Whatever's easier for you. What uh, the, the water or we found? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> so obviously it was said like you know if we get along in person would you want to be our girlfriend? What, did that, what, what was that supposed to kind of entail? Or you can answer that, Rachel. Well, I mean, as, as a young person, I mean, again, she, she's out there being very forward. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, again, it, is, it is, sounds like, you know, it's not like, you know, this is going to be like an everyday thing where these kids are hanging out, um, you know, but... Whatever, man. I don't know. <laughs> she, she's, a, she's, she's a very forward kid, so that's how I was responding to it. But, you know, hey, if we get along, you know, you like what you see, you know, would you, do, would you like to be our girlfriend? I mean, at some point, you know, that'd be great, you know, she's like... We're not talking about, like, now or... Well, right, just w whether she was comfortable with it or something like that. Right. That's fair. Much, like, that's fair. You know, she... Yeah, like after she turns 18. Okay, well, yeah. you know, that, that, that 18, that, that wasn't mentioned. I mean. Yeah, I know. That, again, I have to say, was more of a, I don't know, how do you say that? You just, you're flirting with somebody online, and I'm not trying to be like flirtatious, but that's what she was. So, you know, I was humoring her, I guess you could call it. Okay. Well, well who, 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 brought, who brought up the girlfriend first? Was that you guys or her? 
You don't know? Okay. Well, I, I think I think a polygamous relationship was brought up first, and then I think you asked her, do you want to be our girlfriend if we get along? I mean, again, there's no judgment with that because there are a lot of really bad people, and like I said, I don't consider you guys that, but I mean, was that just kind of something? Like, like what was that? I mean, you're doing an investigation, so of course you're not going to tell us that you consider us something. Like, I mean, like... Well, I, the thing is, I mean, I didn't have to be here right now, so I mean... I do. Um, I'm just trying to figure out your motive. I mean, I understand the situation, um, but what do you want from us? Uh, I mean, you, you, you making a report? Uh, no. Well, well for, first, first, basically, I just want to talk to Rachel, and then hopefully, just talk to you to be sure you all are on the same page about stuff. And yeah, but I mean, between the crying babies and the phone, it's like all this just distractions. I mean, it's not, it's not really not like, you know, we're just kind of hitting roadblocks here. And I think it's going to take a lot longer. You know, we're not going to hurt Rachel or anything like that. I mean, obviously, you know that at this point. All right. Well, can you turn him down then? All right. Do you mind just kind of muting yourself then? Okay. Okay. All right. Is he muted? Okay. Yeah. So, basically, what I'm, what I'm kind of curious about is because you guys have kids of your own, and you guys are very good parents, mm -hmm. this whole kind of MAP thing, this MAP, you know, obviously, you know what I mean, right? I don't even know what it was a thing. Okay. Well, when did you find out it was? I don't even remember. Like, how, how recently? Oh, it was uh, it's been super recent. Like, I didn't know like, that there was a name for that. Like, past couple years? No, like, no? I, I didn't know that was a thing until, honestly, like, within, like, a month. Within a month? If, yeah, if that. Who, who taught you that that was a thing? Oh, I think maybe, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Honestly. So... <laughs> No, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I couldn't remember. What do you say? The news. The news. So how recent was that? How recent was that, William, that y'all kind of decided you guys were that? Baby's asking you a question. <laughs> um, I really don't consider myself that. Again, I, I was kind of playing into this girl conversation. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not attracted to them. Yeah, like, it was... Uh, I, it was just, it was, again, I, I think I was trying to play into her conversation. This was that, again... There, was, there, there really was no ill intent. Well, no, I understand. I understand there was no ill intent, but I'm just asking because yeah, obviously the conversation doesn't look that way. So. <laughs> well, I understand. She was. She was very. She was very forward about stuff. I, I get that. And so, I don't know if you read through it. How many times I tell her that's not what this is about. That's not what we're doing here. That's not okay. That you shouldn't do that. You know, there are dangerous people out there. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Read between the lines, cause you, you gotta you gotta imagine talking to somebody that's talking to you like that. That you wanna you wanna continue the conversation. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. You can you you can do it, turn it down again. Hey, work's calling me. gonna be a minute before I can get there. I ran into some trouble before on like on my way to work. I ran into some trouble on my way to work. It's gonna be a minute. I don't exactly know how long it, uh, but I will. I will be there. I promise. I know. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. 
I, I don't, I don't know, honestly. I'm, I'm hoping before 1030. If it'll be any later than that, I will call you and let you know. Alright, I'm sorry. Bye. Alright, just mute it for now, because I can't, I can't talk to both of you guys at once. It's like, it's just too many, too many, too many noises going on. Yeah. Okay, do you just mind just putting the phone over, up here? I just said, put your, you're on the root, you're on the hood of the car. Okay. So look, I'm just stepping here for a second, I'm just going to, you know, like, listen. Mm. I don't care. Listen, just come here for a second, like, you, get a I don't know, babe, hold on. Listen. What William's doing, he's about to get you into a ton of trouble because he's lying his ass off right now, okay? It's either, it's basically either he's he's manipulating you into doing this, okay? It's either, and if you care about your kids, now's the time to be honest about him because he obviously put you up to this. So I saw the way you texted her, you didn't want any part of this, but you need to be honest about this, okay? You're under a spell right now that's not helping you and that is gonna get in between you and your kids. Okay, you need to be honest. What you, need, what you should do is just hang up the phone so we can talk one-on-one -on -one about this because I was hoping that only you would come so we can help you, okay? I'm sorry. You need to hang up. Well, you should really hang up the phone because he's about to get you into a ton of trouble with his little like, theatrics. Is there any way that I can call you sometimes? I know you don't like doing it on the phone. Mm -mm, we're not doing it on the phone. It's either now or never. It's, and, ne and never means I don't try to help you and that both of you guys are in my sights. Okay. So you should, what you should do is hang up the phone. He, he's a little for sending you out here to get into trouble while he's at home waiting. He didn't even call your work. He lied to you and said he took care of it. Oh no, he sent him a message okay. on the way that we get our schools okay. is what well, he did. And well, I basically, what he did. basically, what I would, if, if I were in your shoes, knowing me, knowing me, if I were in your shoes, and I knew everything about the person standing in front of you, which is me, I would hang up the phone with him because I'm trying to help you right now, okay? But this whole of him being on the phone, holding this over you, that must be you guys together. I'm trying to let you separate yourself here, Rachel. So hang up, you should hang up the phone with him because that, that's what matters, okay? No, I, I know that. So hang, hang it and up. I, I don't know why, I go through his messages all the time, okay? He's messaging other kids. I saw it myself. Whatever her name was, maybe it wasn't her last name, but it was that's his sister. His sister, little sister. No. Okay. She's like twenty-five. Got it. Maybe that's the part I got mixed up, but it was some other kids on there. Yeah, it was named Ryan's his sister. Okay, fair enough. Because <laughs> I talked to her too. Okay. Well, basically. And her daughter was just like ours. Got it. Well, basically, so the kids are safe. So what you should do is just say, "Babe, I'll talk to you after." You should hang up the phone right now so we can talk about this because basically basically what, what basically basically what he's doing he's just sucking you into some hang it up okay, this, let me let me call you in a few minutes okay it i know you let me call you in a few minutes i know you don't want me to not be on the phone it's Cooper called me and started yelling at me because I'm not at work yet and it's going to take longer if I just... No, I know, but we'll talk whenever... No. I know, babe, and that's what I did. Just give me... Uh, we'll... Can I just call you in a few minutes? But it, I don't think it'll be long after we hang up, okay? I, I'm... Okay. I'll... Okay. Alright, hold on. No, I didn't hang up. Rachel. I understand the situation. Come here. Come here. Okay. Listen to me. What you're doing right now is you're just hurting your children by keeping him on the phone right now. Because I can't talk to both of you guys at once. I don't even need to talk to him because he did some really stuff. Okay? 
what you need to do, if you care about you and your children, hang up the phone right now. Stop getting manipulated. I'm, I'm not. It's... Why should I trust you? I mean, I mean, because you, you because you should, you should, you should trust me. Because I'm still here talking to you, right? I care right. enough about those two kiddos to tell you the right I, thing to do. Oh, and he's not gonna. He, I, I understand that those look very, very bad. No, 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 no. not from you, from him. But, and I know the whole situation looks very bad. Okay, okay I, I understand that. Rachel, I get Rachel, that. Listen to me. Hang up the phone. I can't. Why not? Because it's a it's a protection thing between me and that's him. what this is for the protection here. I am aware of that. Rachel, he I, he sent you to be caught by yourself. He doesn't care about protecting you. What do you not understand about that? The whole reason he wanted me to want him to be on the phone is because of this reason. Okay, well, if you don't mind, can I just talk to you over there then, away from the phone? Okay. We're gonna be. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna not speak loud enough so you can hear. Listen. I'm not gonna even read these. I'm just talking to you. Okay. As a parent. As a parent. When did this whole map thing start with him? I know he introduced it to you. Obviously. If I didn't think he introduced it to you, I wouldn't be talking to you. You know what I mean? When did he introduce this to you? You need to give me a ballpark answer. Please. Do it for them. They're literally crying in the back because of him. I don't really... I don't really know when it started. Okay. Like, when do you, when do you, it, wasn't, it wasn't this month. When do you think it was? You need to give me a good answer. Well, you need well, to give me your best answer. Like... complicated to explain. Try your best. I'm not I'm not here to give you an A plus, I'm just here to get your best. That's it. It hasn't always been a sexual thing. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. So start up start when it started, then how to get sexual It start. was more of a it was more of an art, I guess. Like because you know like they're it's the it's the perfection of the human body, if that makes any sense. Sure. You know, like when you start going through adolescence, you know, you get like the, you get the, the buds and, and, and sure. you know, like all yeah. that. And so like that, that's really where it started. But I mean, like even then it wasn't even, it wasn't naked. It was, you know, they were always clothed like bathing suits and stuff like that. Like it's never been anything naked. And how long ago was that? Like a year. A year ago. Okay. But like sexually, like he doesn't even look at, like he doesn't even look at it sexually. Like I know, I know that's not what that is, but mm -hmm. you know, like, and every time that the conversation was brought up, you know, it was deterred, like trying to get back to a normal conversation. Mm -hmm. Like, so how did the map thing start for you guys then, online? You said it was just like bikini pictures, stuff like that. And even then, it wasn't even anything sexual. It right. Was, well, what platform was that on? Was that on, like... You can just Google bathing suit photos. Is that what y'all Googled? I'm, I'm just saying, like... That well, like, well, where did you well, guys just, look at it? I mean, you know, you got... I mean, I'm not saying that this is how it was, but I mean, like, mm -hmm. you can just scroll through Facebook, and everybody's got their kids posted in bikinis there okay. in the summer, and, you know, like... <laughs> so, so, so that is what Just random pages, you know, on yeah. Facebook and... Like... So, so that is what it was. <laughs> But, I mean, I'm not saying... I'm not talking about these right now. Don't worry about these. Because obviously more than what started on July 9th brought you here today, you know? It's just... Sorry, it is hot. You're fine. Um... It's not anything sexual with us like at all like with when it comes to younger people it's just I have always been extremely protective of little kids mm -hmm. and so is he I mean you know like at a very young age you know he had his kids taken not because of this but right. 
Yogi had his kids taken. I've had mine taken. You have separate kids from separate relationships? He has... How many do we have together? Eleven? Those are the only two we have together. Okay. So he's got so many from past relationships, and I've got four from other relationships. When did you start dating? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, six years in July. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, like, we've, we've had conversations about, you know, like, because his, his thing is, is, you know, like, he's he's going to be in a wheelchair by the time he's 55. Like, okay. It, it's just, it's a known fact. Like, Dr. Proven. What does he have? It, he's bad knees. Okay. Um, but, like, his, his knees and his feet are starting to go. His ankles are starting to go. And with us having so many kids, at some point, they're all going to come home. And, you know, the whole looking for somebody younger, like, was more of a... That way there was somebody who was, actually had life left in them mm -hmm. to help with, you know, like, family and stuff like that. And, you know, trying to find a third person, it's not, it's not always, it's not a sexual thing. It's mm -hmm. more of, like, a financial stability thing, helping build a family, that type of stuff. It's right. not... So, I mean, like, when we talk about, like, getting in a relationship with somebody younger, mm -hmm. of course, we don't mean before they're 18. Well, I mean, like, I mean maybe that maybe that was the norm, but here, here obviously, was different. Well, that was, like, we wouldn't have done it. Like, we wouldn't have done anything out of the wrong with her mm -hmm. until she was 18. So, what did you guys talk about doing? Whether you're going to do it or not, what was talked about, kind of? Because I didn't read through all these. She she wanted to know what was going to happen, like, while she was over, and okay. all this other kind of stuff. And I was like, well, I mean, we're going to hang out, we're going to watch movies, okay. eat some pizza, you, Will's going to take you guys swimming while I'm working, mm -hmm. and, you know. Well, what were some of the other stuff talked about? Go to sleep. She just, you know, she was wanting to know what she, it was okay to do. I'm like, well, what do you mean? And she was mm -hmm. like, talking about, like, holding hands, or... Anything, like, I think I brought that up. I think I okay. brought up the holding hands. Yeah, what did you bring up? What did she bring up? Start with what you brought up. I mean, like, I just, I basically just told her, you know, like, if she wanted to, like, hold our hand, like, hold our hand or something, you know, mm -hmm. like, as a security thing, you know, like, all she had to do is, like, she had to be the one to initiate it, not us. Like, we weren't going to initiate anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, like, while she was sleeping there, you know, she, there, we have an extra room. We have, a, we have a bunk bed and a back okay. bedroom that our roommate just moved out of that, you know, she can sleep on. Mm -hmm. Instead of sleeping on the couch, we have our own, like, there's a separate bathroom for her to have her own shower. Yeah. Was and there anything else talked about besides holding hands that was brought up by you? I mean, I don't want to pull it from here. I'd rather just, you know, talk adult to adult about it. Not really. You, sh um, you sure? She had asked Will about making love. Okay. And I told her no well okay and because one she was too young okay and two she was asking if she if it was going to happen and i said if you have to ask you're not ready so okay not happening um and then i think we had had a conversation about honestly i think we had had a conversation about at some point mm -hmm. well how did that go i just i had asked her if she'd ever done it before you mm -hmm. know like and she goes well i don't think i did it right okay i was like well why do you say that and she goes because i didn't feel anything mm -hmm. and i had just made a joke and i was like no no you didn't then but like that was like the extent of that conversation you sure it was the extent of it well I'm, I'm, hey, hey rachel let me just let you know we're not here to judge you okay and i feel pretty judged with well they can step back cameras that's literally all for safety, so every, so we can just prove we didn't hurt you, man. That's it. Well, ma'am, Well, I get it. that, but if you don't want any stalling, I would be much more comfortable talking about anything without an audio recording. Okay. Go in the car. Yeah. Okay. Let's get down to it, then. What was talked about? She had asked about playing um, and stuff like that. And I told her that none of that was going to happen unless she was ready for it. But she, but at any point, like if she ever felt ready, mm -hmm. like at any point, she automatically was uncomfortable. Then mm -hmm. all she had to do was say something and nothing was going to happen. Like oh, thank God. Okay, so this like was it, a... It, it, it wasn't a, 
whether you it, this was not a was gonna make it happen whether she wanted it to or not that was not at all oh okay okay so so nothing was gonna be forced right okay well Absolutely. i respect out of that i really respect that so not at all. so this whole this whole pl and if anybody walks past i'll just shut up and we'll talk about pizza or something <laughs> do you work at a pizza place uh, no i actually work at the cheesecake factory okay in chesterfield okay that we we forget about this all if i get free cheesecakes for life no i'm just kidding i wish though hey, i wish no 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 and i'm just kidding about that but god if it was actually off no i'm just kidding um but god it sounds nice though um okay so no this was not a this was not a forced thing okay like, at all um it's to be completely honest and blunt with you we with the way that like with the way that we believe we believe that it should that kids should learn from their parents sure like he mentioned that too sexually I think. Wise. sure you know so like with her not having a dad and her mom being absent right all the time working you know like we were taking on that parenting role and to us that meant like if she wanted to learn how to properly then you know if she asked it would be showed but unless she was uncomfortable with okay it. like and it's not and it, there would be none of it being done by me like mm -hmm. if that makes any sense mm -hmm. like but it, it was not a me doing it to her sure or him doing it to her it was just like you know yeah I, I demonstrating know. or something or yeah i guess okay well yeah i mean okay so basically my big thing because i'll you know my intention was asked my big thing is whether this anything was gonna be forced or consensual no, it was all consensual okay i even told her in the messages that if at any point she didn't feel comfortable about anything to let us know um and it would stop immediately or you know nothing was going to happen if she was like if she was completely uncomfortable or unhappy with anything um there were steps in place to make sure that she felt safe what were some of those steps going to um, be the own bed that she wanted to, like she could sleep in if she wanted to sleep by herself we okay. had that option if she mm -hmm. wanted to sleep in bed with us we have two queen mattresses on a 10 by 8 bed mm -hmm. So we have two separate mattresses that she could have slept on, mm -hmm. um, taking a shower by herself or together, um, stuff like that. Like, you know, okay. and like in the room is, the two rooms are on two totally opposite sides of the trailer and everything. Okay. So like, you know, like the steps were, you know, like the whole point was to make sure that she was comfortable and she was safe. Right. Nothing forced. Okay. Nothing, like everything would have been consensual like all the way like to the t well it's a far far step from like what others people would be doing exactly and that's that was that was the point he was trying to make of course was that none of it was going to be forced and okay. that's why he felt like he didn't need to get off the phone right because, right because like, maybe he, i wouldn't understand that but exactly. i i do understand it. i do okay so yes. the, the whole thing so i think we we're 95 percent on the same page here and that five percent difference because we're humans not sociopaths right. so um, you talked about showering together. So she asked what would happen in the shower. Um, I think that's where it was brought up that you guys would, uh, oh, I appreciate it, Rachel. I, I think that's where it was brought up that, you know, you guys would kind of practice on each other and. But again, only if she was okay with Okay. It. Okay. Well, thank um, God. So, so, so basically like. Well, she asked if there would be any playing in the shower. And I said, well, that's kind of different because when will and i take a shower together mm -hmm. if it's a long shower he washes me and i wash him and like like he'll wash my body and my hair mm -hmm. and i'll do the same thing to him and of course playing happens during that hey time. i have a girlfriend too so but if she wasn't comfortable with that then none of that was going to happen fair enough way more than fair enough so, you know, so that, like like i said you know like that was that that's, that was entirely up to her okay like, and I even told him, you know, like when we were first talking about her coming and staying the night, I was like, you need to make sure that like when you sit down and talk to her, that she completely understands what you're saying to her. Right. Because I'm... Informed consent. I am not 100% sure that she's all there. Um, mentally, I think she might be lightly, slightly... Or maybe have... Okay. Um, to be perfectly honest. No, fair enough. But with that being said, like... Taking the extra precaution to make sure that she completely and one hundred percent understood what was happening, what was going on, what was in her control. Mm -hmm. That 
like that was overly stressed. Right, because there's a difference between learning and Exactly. So, so um, this playing in the shower, so what kind of playing would that have been? Only if she's okay with it, like what were y'all talking about with that? Oh, we would not, no penetration would have happened, like at all. Okay, so what, what play would it have been? Like, you know, like rubbing on her body, like washing okay. her and like, you know, like that's in her right. hair. Would it have just been kind of, about, like, would it just been kind of rubbing her down there too? Possibly. Okay. Is that her, was that going to be her decision or? Her decision. Okay. So, so you, all of it. So you would only, so you and William would have only. What? I don't believe that anybody ever invited that girl to take a shower. Well, no, she, the, yesterday she had asked me um, about showering, and I told her that, you know, like, she could do it by herself if she wanted to, or, you know, with us, you know, like, in the way that we believe, you know, like, you know, doing mm -hmm. things as a family and, like, all that, that, you know, if she wanted to shower, well, I, I know that, you know, but, like, his whole, his main thing is that he wanted to make sure that whatever was going to happen this weekend was not forced. Right, exactly. That was all that he was really trying to figure out. There was nothing to do. I, I want to make this very clear, okay? This girl was very sexually into it, like, I guess, like, I don't know how to explain that. Um, and, you know, to, I guess to get it, to actually meet the girl, I just, I just played along in this kind of way. Okay. But, Will, uh, William, William, William. If you, if you want to talk to me, you can come here and talk to me. But right right now, I'm talking to Rachel. Oh, you are? Guys, I've got, I've got fucking the neighbor watching the kids and I'm on the way. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm coming, man. Okay. Well, I'm here on Olive right now. Okay. How close are you? He's on Olive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's all he was trying to figure out was that it wasn't going to be forced. It was all consensual, like, that everything was... There was going to be nothing. It was not. Force isn't even a word. It was going to be nothing. Right. Like, mm. She ended up saying the night we had a second bedroom already set up for and everything. Dude, like... Yeah, I, ex I explained that. that was yeah, yeah. The bedroom, we had the second bathroom, like, you know, like... Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're on Olive, uh, you can just, uh... We'll see you when you get here. Let me just put it back there. Oh, my phone's getting hot. Yeah. You put it in the, with AC. Or make sure they're okay, please. Oh, yeah, they're just screaming. All right. What, baby? I know. Are they both okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Got it. Good. Okay. She might scream at me again to come get the bottle, but... Right. So, okay. So, so, it was mentioned that... So, I guess, basically, you and William have the same messaging. Pretty much, like, basically, same same ideas communicated to her. Um, so, so, basically... So, you only said the, the, the touching would happen... Um, wouldn't happen until you got home. So, you said w with just William alone, it would just be over her pants. What does that mean? Well, he had asked me, like, if, like having his hand like right there on her thigh okay like that was it what but, kind of rubbing did he talk about just like like if you were like to move his finger or something okay like, and he told that to you yeah okay that was it sure so he wasn't talking about like rubbing on her down there like, okay over his shorts or like over did, he, her shorts. did he only say that when you got home or he said that if she was okay with it that nothing under the clothes would happen. Well, obviously the shower is a shower, so. Why would that wouldn't happen until I got home? Okay. Oh, not until you got home. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because I would want a shower after I work. Because I'm supposed to be working a double today. Hey, I got a shower too. Um. So, so, so basically, did he? Uh. So, so what did he talk about doing in the shower? Like just same same type of stuff, just kind of consensual touching, or. I don't think he. I don't think he's ever actually talked to her about being in the shower. I think. No, no, no. What, what he talk? What did he? What did he? What did he talk to you about saying that? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just if she wanted to shower by herself, she could. If she wanted to shower with us, that was fine too. Okay. Like that was it. Okay. So he was just. Did he tell you to tell her that, or? No, he told me to talk to her about it. Okay. Um, so he told you to ask her that. Yeah, or just you know, just to talk to her. Yeah, just to okay. talk to her about that situation. But again, like it was entirely 
her decision. Her decision. Okay. So, w w so basically, whose idea was it to kind of shower all together? You're his mean, or just shower with them. So uh -huh. I mean, like, it's. I don't know. That sounds weird, especially with her being two. Right. But it's just between his work schedule and my work schedule, it's just so much faster and so much easier. Yeah, it's, it's a group on pretty much. Right. <laughs> and you know, and it's just it's so much easier instead of like breaking our back, bending over our tub, you know, like right. just throw them in the shower. She loves drinking the water. Like she'll Hope you're not feeding her soap. Okay, just say it. No. Okay. I, I don't I don't believe in washing baby's mouth out with soap when they say a bad word or anything like that. Like okay. most I do discipline wise is I'll stick my kids in the corner and I'll smack their butt. Yeah, that's fair. That's like, fair. That's it. That's fair. But Oh, and I tickle my kids. All right, well, go ahead, turn around. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right? See, I, see I, I was tickled as a kid, so, you know. Watch the layup. You know, tickling now is a child abuse. Yeah, I know, everything it's is nowadays. So stupid. Everything is. You know why? Huh? Because they can't say stop. Right. It's so dumb. But, like, that's the extent of it. Like, you uh -huh. know. But, like, we'll, we'll shower with them. So, I mean, like, it wouldn't be abnormal for us to have another person in the shower with us if that's what she wanted to do. But, okay. You know, Got it. That's, that was entirely up to her. Okay. You know. So, basically, um, so, 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 basically, so, he, he, he told Emily something about... Has your dad ever done anything to you? And have you done anything with your dad? Again, that goes back to believing that it should stay within the family until you get married. Okay. You know, like, I'm not saying that he's done anything like that, you know, with well, ours. Well, I think Emily but, asked him, so he said it's hard to explain. So what, what, what kind of has happened? What do you mean? Like, Emily asked him, have you done anything with your daughter? And he said it's hard, it's hard to explain. So what does that kind of mean? I'm, very, I'm, I'm just curious. I mean, I know there's no abuse going on, but... Yeah, I mean... Just, you know, like, I, there's, I guess it would be really hard to explain. Yeah, try your best, um, straight up. I mean, you know, like, wiping her and, like, cleaning, like, showering, like, bathing her and stuff like that. I mean, like, you got to make sure that you get it down there so no infections happen. So, I mean, I guess if you, like, look at it from an outsider's perspective that it would look wrong well no my parents clean me down there i mean that's not a i guess uh, i don't well, i don't really know well no no i mean what's the yeah i understand uh showering your kids obviously especially when they're young but like what's it what's well, I mean, it like i had dfs call me one time for saying say, somebody saying that i was playing with her well, that i was playing with her because i was i was like so i'm not allowed to wipe my baby anymore okay like what well, it was, uh, has, has, has... So, I mean, I guess it just... I mean, has, has William ever, uh, like, has he just kind of, like, explored down there? Have her learned that stuff? Or... Because that's what I'm curious about. What's the hard I to mean, explain for her? she's two, so she explores, and, like, she's discovered that she's got a cha-cha. Okay. Like, on her own during the day, like, she's, she is potty trained, so she's in paint, she's in underwear. Mm hmm You know, so, like, she, half of the time, she runs around naked at our house. You know, I mean, she's... Too. Okay. So, I mean, and we don't ever usually have anybody over, but when right. we do, she has clothes on. So, so, I mean, has... has because we're also a nudist family. Oh, okay. So, y'all are just nude in the house together? Yeah. Okay. Unless, unless people are coming over, then we've got clothes on. Fair enough. So, you know, like, I mean, and kids are curious. So, you know, like, she'll walk up to me and, like, she'll point and be like, what's that? You know, like all kids do. And she doesn't... Well, like, what's, what's what? Or... Like, she'll be like, what's that? Mm -hmm. You know? And then... She'll realize that she's got one too, and then it's a whole on conversation. Mm -hmm. And I mean, with so, so it's like exploring anatomy, pretty much. Right. So, so, so has so has has she ever like learned by maybe touching Williams? Or I mean, she'll walk up to him like while he's sitting on the couch, and be like, "What's that?" Mm -hmm. You know, but like pointing at his pee pee. Yeah. Okay. Does, does he like ever like let her touch it, like to explore it, or not? Not. Like he'll like she'll like go and like grab it, grab it, but like immediately he's like no, no, no. I mean, he he said it, he said it's he said it's hard to explain. I mean, I mean, I mean, again with the learning within the family thing, that's mm -hmm. why it's hard to explain because. Hold on. 
We're trying to, I'm trying to figure out how to explain the hard to explain thing. What's hard to explain? Uh, the question Emily asked you about if you've done, if you've, ex if you've done anything with Chloe. Oh, hell no. All right. Well, it is, it's, I'm almost there. I'll, I'll talk to you. Okay. I'll say, it kind of is really hard to explain. Mm-hmm. No, I'm just, oh, I'll put it right He's almost here. Okay. I mean, he's probably about four. I'm about five minutes out. I don't know where I'm at. Okay. Five minutes away. Got it, sure. He's looking for the BP. So, basically, uh, you know, I'm going to just be, be straight. I mean, William floated saying, I'll make love to you before Emily said that. Um, and I'm sure that's something you guys talked about. I mean, yeah, but again, mm -hmm. not... And I'm pretty sure it's even in the messages. It, you know, if, I think he had said that he would make love to her, but not until she was ready. Okay. But again... So when, know, when like, was ready going to be? That was completely up to her. Okay. But me i told him i would prefer that she waited until you know she was at least of age what do you say to that he's like yeah of course so like he understood where you know like he see because the law changes so much you know you're 17s of age 18 yeah of age. you know i'm not worried about 16 17 18 um but it, it wasn't going to be within like the next three years mm -hmm. you know not before she was at least 16 17 or 18 it would have just been other stuff before then or if she wanted to right. okay okay so so what was that so what william mentioned emily moving in when she was 16 then getting married when she was 18 what was what was kind of was that kind of the end goal there or i mean if she was she wanted to stick around okay then you know like if she wanted to stick around and she wanted to be in a relationship with us then yes okay but again up to her you're not going to kidnap her and make her stay not, or? right we're not going to kidnap her and force her against her will like he was trying to explain earlier we were in a poly relationship for three years mm -hmm. um with another woman and she turned around and asked him for a divorce one day and he goes okay how are you in a poly relationship? Like in Missouri, is that allowed? Yeah, I, probably not legal. Like we can't legally marry each other. Like. But it was like we're wife, we're husband and wife, whether right. whether the, whether the courts say it or not. Right. Okay. That's pretty much what it was. Yeah. Um, but you know, like our our family is all about you know if you want to be there, you're welcome. If you don't, you're welcome to leave. Also, we're not going to force you to stay. Mm-hmm. You know, like, we're not forcing you to stay. We're not forcing you to come on. Okay. Nothing like that. So this was, like, a long-term thing, then. Or a long-term plan, pretty much, um, if she's willing. I mean, for us, anybody we talk to is potentially a long-term thing. Because, you know, like you said, we're tired of the BS. And we're tired of the, you know, the all of that. But we know, we know where our boundaries are. Mm-hmm. And we know where the lines are, and we know where the law is, and, mm -hmm. you know, where not to cross and stuff like that. And I get that it looks bad. Like, I, I get that. And We're making it sound a lot less worse than it seems, so I appreciate that. Um, so so when, did, when did William tell you she was 11? Um, honestly, it could have been the day you started talking to her. You could have been... Just early like on. A week later. Sure, sure. And... But like the, the, as soon as I found out she was 11, mm -hmm. I, I told him, I was like, well, you're going to have to be very, very patient with there's him right there. Um, I was like, you're going to have to be very, very patient with him. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, I know. You know, like, that's that's not my intent. You know, like, he even told her, you know. He Does he carry any weapons? No. Okay, go, go on, go on. You're no. good. No. Um, you know, he, uh, his goal is to find somebody who he can build a relationship with outside of Sure. Yeah, he he said that too. You know, like it's not. That's all. That's what it was. How's it going, William? <laughs> good. Good. I'm Gordon. Pleasure to meet you. Sorry to meet you like this, though. All right, for sure. William. Absolutely. I got all right. What's up? They gave her water. Or Chloe. Yeah, so so basically, you know, I was 
I don't know how much you heard with me talking to Rachel and all of that stuff. Right, I can hear it. Yeah. What's going on? Sounds like we're connecting NASA or something. Yeah. So basically... Uh. We were just talking about that before. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so, so, so basically, obviously, I know you guys wanted... We're, you guys are not out to hurt anybody, you know? But I'm, I'm thinking at this point, based on what she told me, that you guys can probably flip this around and help me identify what the heck's going on online in general. You know what I mean? Because... There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on online. So... You mentioned the whole map thing. She said it's relatively new, not within the past month, but what, so what? So map. Uh -huh. You know, this is funny because I, I I didn't hear that term until probably a month ago on um, Fox News or something. Like okay, that. okay. Okay. Um, and that that they're talking about the trans. Yeah, the, the, that's really. It is really. It is really. I'm super conservative. I don't know what you're. So, I am but, too. I am too. So, <laughs> Well, the we world still have is a borderline right there. Now. Right, right, right. So here's the thing. When, when it comes to maps, it's considered like a miner's attraction to people. Mm -hmm. or to, to Minor attracted to person. Is that what it is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, what, what is your question about that? So, so, basically, look, I understand the whole playing into this, that, whatever. But, ob obviously, the reason I know that's kind of been... That you guys have associated with kind of the wrong people online. I'm not talking about Emily. I'm talking about the wrong people online. Is because I think Emily asked you about Telegram... And you said that's full of maps and all this. Yeah, I don't use that. That's okay. What I was trying to explain to her. I was like, because, you know, when you're, there are, um, like, if you look at uh, Emily's page. Sure. Her Facebook page, there are guy after guy after guy on there that are grown ass men. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you look on their page and you look at their friends. Yeah. There are tons of little people. Right. Okay. And then. If you go onto any of these sites, any of these peoples, there's always links to like WhatsApp and Telegrams mm -hmm, and things mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a lot of them are considerate towards child things like that. But, yeah, right, right. So, uh, so I mean, <laughs> have you guys ever had Telegram and had to get rid of it because it was just so much? Better? No, I I just know what goes on there. So okay, I, I, I don't even know. What it is. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of like a WhatsApp. It's, oh, it's an okay. encrypted. Okay. Uh, so 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 is it kind of worse on WhatsApp or Telegram with that type of stuff? I really don't know. I pretty much stick to messenger. messenger. <laughs> That's really yeah, about it. Yeah, stick to messenger. messenger. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So you know, obviously this whole thing, like you know, map this, map that. So you said it's a relatively new term. Yeah, and I okay. really think our conversation between me and Emily that was mentioned maybe twice. Sure. It was just one moment of a conversation because she asked if I used those things. I said no. Mm -hmm. So basically, I think Emily asked, like, when did you guys find out you guys were both maps? And maybe, we, you know, we know, <laughs> how, 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 what's a good way to put this? Basically, if, if the sport of soccer is called football, and you find out that the, that the freaking, you know, the Redcoats call it football, you still know it was soccer before you knew a new new name for it. You know what I mean? So, okay, so, so when did you guys kind of talk about that stuff uh, so initially I, I at first? I think our, um, our angle on it is not that I'm necessarily attracted to a younger person. Sure. As much as the idea of having somebody that's a young adult at some point that we've known since they were younger. So basically, you meet them when they're a kid, and then when they're an adult, like that's when the relationship, relationship thing. So, to, like if that's okay. if that's there. Okay, got it. Does, <laughs> does that make sense? That's the, and it, that's not really where I was like trying to. Well, well, I guess the qu I guess the question is like, so when did when did you first realize that that when, when I guess you guys when did you guys first realize that that's kind of what you're looking for? Well, our our philosophy in life is that these kids, um, 14, 15, she got pregnant at 16 years old. Okay. Okay. She got left and, you know, destroyed from that. Of course, okay? of course. And I really, I and if you want to know about the philosophy, because I heard, I heard what you guys are talking about with, like, the kid, and it all kind of pans into the same thing. Uh -huh. As these kids are young and they go through and they have boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend after boyfriend that break their heart, do all the for, you know, the first 10 years of their old, they're dating. Yeah, used and abused. I, I really think that that is preventable. Like, my kids, I'm... What happened? Nothing. I'm probably not going to have a job. By the time we're what happened? Okay. Because I told Coop that if I wasn't going to be there by 1030, that I would call him, and I'm not going to get there until 11. Just, okay. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of it. Okay? They have fried pickles um, at y'all's pizza place, by the way. That's like my favorite food. 
I could so go for some fried pickles right now, dude. <laughs> Just a side note. Anyways, um, where are they at? So, like, if you don't want to go to work, don't go to work. <laughs> Coop's already mad at me. I know. Don't worry about Coop. Coop's a dick. He's a dick. Call me and me. <laughs> Sorry, I used to work for him too. Anyways. At the, uh, right. whatever. Yeah, it rolls So. How do I say this without sounding like perverted? Because that's not the real out. Well, the, 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 only way, the only way I can tell you to say it without sounding perverted is I think you know I'm not here to judge anybody at this point, right, Rachel? I'm not here to judge you, and I can just tell you I have seen so much worse than anything you're about to say. I promise you, I okay. guarantee it. So go Here's ahead. <laughs> if you actually looked at a statistic that was literally spoken correctly, I, me and my sister fooled around when I was a kid. Sure. My okay. brother and I fooled around when we were kids. Brothers, kids. it happens. And how, how old were you guys? Or I don't know, probably 12, 13 years old. I got caught by my grandma. Oh, no. <laughs> I say, I've, you know? I've caught my but, girls. Now I don't I don't approve these two right here. Or? No, 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 my older two. Okay. The point being is is that kids are going to be sexually curious throughout their youth. It's it's normal. When do you think that starts? I, if I had, it gets a, younger. Every I'm not year. a professional. Yeah. But yeah, I was telling her that. I was like, you know, if you think about it, when our grandparents did it, it was probably their 20s. Right. Our parents were probably in their 18. Right, right. We lost ours at 14, and it's just getting younger. Is it is, not. yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. So, and if you look at the Bible, the Bible really says that, you know, when the innocence of children is gone, that's when Jesus is coming back. Mm -hmm. that's the end. Mm -hmm. So we're almost there, but... Um, Seems like it. Mm -hmm. Is there any... I, I need, would I need prefer... Need both of us, but is there any way that you're done with me? Uh, you want to take the pro Probably, probably not. I mean... It, like, obviously, you know, I'm not making any mistake, but uh, me personally, no, I'm not done. But if you want to, Rachel, if you want to sit in the car with them, I mean, by all means. Trying I, I'm, I'm trying to get to work, are we, are, so. we, are we under arrest or something? No, 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 I, I made that clear, but, like, I, I think, because, yeah, I'll be, I'm a little selfish here, I'll be honest. I kind of want to know this thought pro okay, you know. <laughs> but you know, you know what a vaccine's supposed to do, right? It's supposed to give you immunity, it's supposed to copy it so you know what's no, going on? No. Nope. Okay. So you're, you're you're gathering information for Intel, is that what you want? I mean, do you because want, if I under if I understand my mindset, sure, absolutely. So like, uh, so, so so like learn young. So she asked oh, you like right. about you know your daughter. Like how, how did that? What does okay. that kind of go? So my obviously my daughter hasn't asked me for anything. Yeah, of course, of course. Life. Not this one. As the kids get older, I am not okay with them going out and having with anybody fair enough fair okay. enough 11 15 whatever yeah all right i agree but i do know that kids have sexual curiosity mm -hmm. okay i am not necessarily going to be the guy like when i got called with my sister oh my god it was hell on <laughs> yeah yeah I never i'm not going to be that way i'm going to be more communicative more like listen guys i obviously can't watch you 24 7 I'm not going to beat them up over it. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would, as, as a parent, I'm sorry, it sounds sick, but I would prefer it over some random asshole. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Like, if my kids are playing in the bedroom, I, I, I should probably not be okay with that. Sure. And I'm not. Sure. Okay? But I would prefer, if I had to make a decision or a no. choice, I would prefer it over oh. some kid's 14-year-old that's going to get her pregnant. Mm -hmm. that, we there, there's the philosophy. When it comes to... Like, her situation or something like that, it's the same ordeal, man. I mean, of course I played along. I mean, if you have all my texts, that's, there's some, it, that's probably not pretty. But Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not, you know, <laughs> William, at this point, like, yeah, I'm not worried about Emily anymore. So, okay. so basically, you mentioned that, um, so, so basically, you mentioned, well, the one thing that I'm kind of just curious about, not judging, but just curious, like, you mentioned, have you learned from your dad? And I think a, a kid should learn from their dad. So how are you planning on teaching your kids when they're a little bit older? Well, it's not that I want to teach them. I'm not going to reach out to my children and right. teach them that, of, of course, right? of course. Here, let me teach but them it, yeah. But, again, when that time comes, the situation is you know, there are people that love you versus people that just want to use and abuse you. Yes, agreed. Okay? 
if it came down to it, and my kids of those ages, I, I, I don't know how I'd react really when it really happens. When what happens? Just when they approach you with that, mm -hmm. you know, or when you catch Good. them in those situations. Yeah. yeah. But and as a parent, think that you know how you're gonna handle it. Yeah. I mean, like with with Asa. I mean, sorry, my son Asa. He's 16 years old. We've watched together uh -huh. okay i mean like you know i taught him a thing or two about yeah 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 I, i'm sorry that's very personal i don't know why the hell i'm sharing it with you but all right no joke the, the reality of it is is that i would prefer that over some alternatives because now the kids got some yeah you got some girl pregnant and, you uh, and it wasn't under my roof she moved out moved in with his mom and so did you and asa like together or stuff like that or we watched yeah, let's put it like that. I didn't ever touch my son. No, 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 no. I'm not saying you touch him, but did, did you guys just both like together or mm -hmm. just curious? I, no judging, just literally curious about how this works. I don't want to answer that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so, so it's a yes. I, <laughs> so it's a yes. Listen, the reality of it is, is that he's a 16 year old boy. Uh huh. All right. And we were watching some because. You know what, the kids, he's, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, I, I'm, I'm not like trying to approach my children that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm also not weirded out about them approaching me with those questions. Yeah, our family. Curiosities and things. Somebody's got to answer it and I'd prefer it to be the family over the yeah. strangers in the street or the school. Or, okay. You know, whatever, because the school are obviously not. Here. Yeah, no, no, no public schools. Don't, 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 don't think I'm asking you this question sideways. This is there's literally no wrong answer in my book here. What about with your son together? What what about that? Like, you think benefits him? Just purely curious. No, no, no. You know. I, I don't think that uh, it either benefited him or didn't benefit him one way or the other. I really think um, in the situation that we were in on that day, you know, I caught him watching. I was like, listen, dude, well, this was previous day, and I was just mm -hmm. like, listen, dude, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to yell at you for it. You know, I watch it, too, you know, it's, it's whatever, you know, so, and then one day we just watched it together, so, okay. what, 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 on the couch in the living room. Oh, some ass cold. Oh, I'll take care of it, don't worry. So we're going to get arrested. Not saying that. So, so basically, what kind of happened, or what do, what do you plan on kind of doing with your daughter when she's older? Nothing. What, what, what do you mean? Like, okay. How's it going, sir? What's going on, Officer Chet? What's hey. going on today, guys? Hi. So these two came to meet who they thought was an 11-year-old girl to take them back to her house and uh, with her and touch her and all that type no. of stuff. We have it all on camera recorded consensually. And they also brought their own children here, too, which That's is child right. abuse. Totally incorrect. You that just is not totally what happened. And we have it all in the messages here, all on camera. And they both identify as minor attracted people. So. Fucking, okay. You denying all this? I am, okay. to an extent. To an extent? What are you not denying? Then? Well, we were going to go swimming today, and that's what we were doing. Uh, so they, that, we have, didn't, you just didn't, okay. We have her on camera saying that if Emily, the 11-year-old girl, was okay with being touched, she would be touched, and all this stuff. And we have chats to back it up as well, too. Um, ah, so, so basically, sir, sir. July 9th, I live in Missouri, sweet what part? I'm 11. Hey, hey, hey sir, can uh, we do me a favor? Yeah, 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 let's do it over there. Yeah, yeah, fair. You can come out, Pablo. Huh? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here, let me give him my mic real quick. Here, for. Turn it. Oh. You know. Gotcha. Yep, all right, so let's go. What's, what we got here? Show me okay. the shoes. Yeah, so she was texting us too, and basically, um, and basically, like, you know, when I was talking with her, William Hightail over here, and, you know, we wanted to get both of them here, so, yeah. so this is Rachel texting yesterday, and this is on encrypted messages, so they're not going to be saved for a preservation request, but I made sure to record everything on this phone, what she was saying. So I'm very protecting my family. I'm very much worried about tomorrow. No, I know you asked about well, the love thing yesterday, and I honestly would prefer that not happen just yet. Must because I'll be the first time hanging out together. I'm fine with holding hands, sitting his lap, kissing on the cheek, and some other stuff that I'll talk to you about tomorrow. So then she ends up defining that other stuff. Yeah, they're touching each other, and I'll show you what that is. This 
it there yet. Um, I'm trying to keep okay, it. Okay, like playing. So okay, like playing. Yeah, I see that. Like, oh, like playing. But if you're ready or not. So in a part, the part. Yes, that touch stuff. We don't want to make you unhappy or uncomfortable. That depends. This is all stuff we can talk about tomorrow in person. It boils down to you're okay, if you're okay with it. So you're if you're okay with him. You grab his hand if you're okay with him. Have his hand on your leg. Put his hand on your leg. Like it's all up to you. And you've already talked about what's allowed to kiss him. When I'm not home, all that. So what? That's what I mean. And we said, and she's like, what, what would you not do? And we say, anything that puts me in pain. He, and he asked, or she asked, let me ask, have you ever played with yourself, like rubbing yourself down there? See it right here. Yeah. And we say, mm -hmm, I tried before. I don't think it did it right though. And she said, why you say that? Okay. And, and, He's arrested. Okay. And, Sir, there's also messages from William of uh, him saying, we want to move you in when you're 16, and he's like, I'll make love to you whenever you're ready. Well, we'll get there. All right, I'm just going to make sure that... Absolutely, absolutely. Give my ID, hold on. So, thank you. Uh, just so, from there too? I was stationed at Fort Hood for two years. Oh, nice. Yeah. I wish Missouri was there. Anyways, uh, so I'm not familiar with you guys. Yeah. And, um, like, this is what you guys do. Yeah, we travel the country here. So we're from Houston, and that's a good address and everything. We just, yeah, we're here.
Officer Jet, I think is the name. Um, one of the best officers we've ever dealt with. He's going to drive Rachel's car um, to the station to get the kids out of the heat. And uh, yeah, we're going to follow him to the station and do what we got to do. But right now, they're in custody for solicitation, uh, whatever the hell the Missouri solicitation law is. And I don't know the exact name of it. And there, William also had a warrant out for his arrest. I don't know what for. So. Um, yeah, hopefully the ball gets rolling on this, and yeah, kids are saved. So if you literally want to help save kids, and if you wanted to see this uncensored earlier or whatever, consider joining locals in the pinned comment. We cannot be in University City, Missouri, if we don't have people on locals getting us over here. It's only $7 a month, over 21 catches early, and it really, really helps us out, and it helps... I hate to sound like a, like a you know, cliche here, but it literally helps children. So join up, pin comment. Or if you're on Rumble, press the red join button. Everybody has seven dollars to pitch in to make this happen. So, thank you guys. All right, continue. Thank you, buds. What's up, guys? So consider joining our locals. If you like the fact that we cash predators nationwide, it's not possible without you joining our locals. On locals, you get to see over 20 caches early, completely uncensored. You get to see live predator confrontations as they happen. And you get to support the movement that has an arrest in 43 different states and convictions in 24. We do travel the most and catch the sickest. It's only $7 a month. You get more early content than Rumble. We do big content dumps every single month on locals. And can't do this without you guys. Consider joining locals.